Well, Israel's war in Gaza has completed six months with demands over the release of hostages to demonstrations against the worsening humanitarian situation in Gaza. Right, protests have once again gripped different parts of the world. Tens of thousands of Israelis took to the streets of Jerusalem to press for the return of hostages. At least 100,000 people gathered in what is being seen as one of the largest demonstrations against Israel's offensive. Netanyahu's cabinet has been facing continued criticism over their security failure on the 7th of October. The protesters stayed put on two demands, the resignation of Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and the urgent need for new elections. We're here today uh, because we want everybody to be aware that this is still happening uh, and we're still hoping that its uh, solution will be like any minute. We don't have time, Nama has no time. Their families and everybody here is has had enough and, and people need to to understand that and the world needs to stand up and get them back. Whoever is responsible, we're all responsible and these are our people and we can't stand another day without them coming home. And it's above politics, it's above religion, it's a humanitarian issue and that's what we're here to shout today. In Tel Aviv, thousands of demonstrators had a showdown with the police while demonstrating against Netanyahu on Saturday. As for the police, at least one demonstrator has been detained over the scuffle that took place. For families of hostages, it's a race against time. The Israeli forces said that they had unearthed the body of a hostage from Khan Yunus. This country must exist. We don't have another country, but we have to be a good country, a moral country, that, that protects itself, but acts according to human rights. Thank you. Now, hundreds gathered in New York City demanding the release of the 130 hostages held in captivity. Protesters were seen waving U.S. and Israeli flags and urging the governments to reach a solution. Posters with the pictures of those kidnapped on the 7th of October attacks were also seen in the rally. Demonstrators also gathered in Washington, D.C., demanding the return of hostages. People held up pictures of the hostages and rallied with posters that said, and I'm quoting here, bring them back home. People urged the Israeli government to not just bring the hostages to safety, but also agree to an immediate ceasefire in the besieged Gaza Strip. Bring them home! 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 Bring them